A breath of fresh air. Now Dina, the daughter Leah, had born to Jacob, went out to visit the woman of the land. When Shechem, son of Hamar, the Hivite, the ruler of that area, saw her, he took her and raped her. His heart was drawn to Dina, daughter of Jacob. He loved the young woman and spoke tenderly to her. And Shechem said to his father Hamar, Hey, who this girl is? Please get her as my wife. When Jacob heard that his daughter Dina had been defiled, his sons were in the fields with his livestock. So he did nothing about it until they came home. Oh, I can't believe this, bro. They ain't getting away with this. They're going to regret the day they ever defiled our sister Dina. You hear me? I'm telling you they're going to rule this day. Dad said that Hamor and his son Shechem is going to come to talk to us tomorrow, bro. Okay. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. I got a plan. Let's not be too irrational about this. I got a plan. Just trust me. Just trust me. Hide, man. Hide. Intermarry with us. Give us your daughters and take our daughters for yourselves. You can sell among us. The land is open to you. Live in it, trade in it, and acquire property in it. Let me find favor in your eyes, and I'll give you whatever you ask. Make the price for the bride and name the gift that I am to bring as great as you like. And I'll pay whatever you ask me. Only give me the young woman as my wife. Bro, you talking about intermarrying with you? Bro, we can't do that. Bro, we can't do that. That would be a disgrace to us to give our sister to a man who's not circumcised. But here's the thing. We'll only enter the, into this agreement with you on one condition. That you become like us, circumcising all your males. Then... You know, we'll give them to what you ask. You can marry our daughters and we'll take your daughters for ourselves. And then we'll settle among you and become one people with you. But if you don't agree to be circumcised, we'll take our sister and go. Deal. Sounds good. Get circumcised, bro? That's the big plan that you had? Come on. You telling me circumcision? It's the consequence for defiling our sister, our blood sister. Bro, come on. Listen to me. Listen to me. You ain't seeing the master plan. You ain't seeing the master plan. Guess what? I knew he was going to agree to this just because I saw the look in his eyes on how much he liked Dino. But guess what? They have to circumcise all their males. We're going to give it about a day or two. And then we're going to go in and we're going to kill every last one of them when they're weak. That's the major plan. It wasn't just about circumcision. It was about just getting them weak. Whoa. Simeon, you've done it again. You're a genius. I told you, just trust me. Three days later, while all of them were still in pain, two of Jacob's sons, Simeon and Levi, Dina's brothers, took their swords and attacked the unsuspecting city, killing every male. Hey, Levi, it's been about three days, bro. Are you ready? Oh, I thought you would never ask. Bro, let's get it. I got my sword already. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they don't know what's coming. They don't know what's coming. This is for Dino! You want to rape my sister? No, never again. You gotta be crazy. You guys gonna learn. You going too far, Shechem. Every city in Canaan will know not to mess with the Hebrews. The views on a Breath of Fresh Air podcast reflects the parties involved. And we encourage you all to use it as a conversational tool that will lead to personal studies of your own.